लो गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू माय फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज राहुल पटेल फ्रॉम ग्रोमर फैकल्टी ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग वर्किंग एज ए असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स डिपार्टमेंट एक्चुअली माय लास्ट लेक्चर बी ऑन दी व्हाट इज दी थ्री फेज सर्किट एंड व्हाट इज दी इंटर कनेक्शन बिटवीन दी इन दी व्हाट इज इन दी स्टार कनेक्शन एंड इन दी डेल्टा कनेक्शन एंड ऑल्सो वट इज दी फेज फेज करंट वट इज दी लाइन करंट फेज वोल्टेज लाइन वोल्टेज वॉट दी इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ दी थ्री फेज सर्किट्स विल बी डिलीवर्ड इन दी लास्ट लेक्चर नाउ टूडे माई 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 द की वर्ड्स विल बी द मेजरमेंट ऑफ द पावर इन दी थ्री फेज सर्किट एंड ऑल्सो इन दी विथ विथ थ्री डिफरेंट डिफरेंट क्राइटेरिया लाइक वी हैव टू द इफेक्ट ऑफ दी बैलेंस लोड एंड ऑल्सो विद द इफेक्ट ऑन दी पावर फैक्टर फर्स्ट How will be the measure in the three-phase circuit? Uh, circuit always the power will be measured in the three-phase circuit using the watt meter. So first question, what is the watt meter? In the watt meter, we have uh, two types of the coil. First, it will be the uh, current coil, and always in the second will be the pressure coil. So the first uh, current coil will be the first the current coil. It will be always connected into the series so in the three phase circuit always will be connected in the, the series so this gives uh, we have to the gives the line currents so it is uh, very most important fundamentals of the what is the watt meter and what is the application of the watt meter second coin is the pressure coil so in the pressure coil will be always it be called as the in the parallel so this coil will be measure the the power so always and when we use the connection end in the circuit then this is the main fundamental of the using the watt meter current coil always will be in the series will be with, uh, with the line so it gives the line current and pressure coil so always will be in the parallel so it gives in the power first first topic then the measurement of the power in the three phase circuit using the 1 watt meter then the second topic is the 3 watt meter then the last topic is will be the 2 watt meter so in the topic of the we have to the will be the first what is the first watt meter in the use as the 1 watt meter so it will be the means like as a word 1 watt meter in the three phase circuit so it will be used as the in the our we have to the star connection okay so if will be in the star connection using the 1 watt meter so this call as the star connection of our we deliver in the last lecture first only we use in the the 1 watt meter like you can see this is the watt meter and this is the cc and this is the pc means cc means we have to denote as a current coil and pc is equal to less as a pressure coil so you can this see the cc means it the series with the phase like is a r y and the b we have this is the neutral this is the r and the l this is the l into r l into r so you can this see this is the current coil see we always be be uh, i mean series with the r and the pressure coil will be the measure of the power we call as is at c pc means in the parallel with the coil then the notation is will be the i r then it will be the i y and this is the i b this is the our the uh, means li uh, line currents i r i y and the i b so in this uh, in this uh, circuit in the using the one watt meter then like we have to last time we defines as a Uh, value of the power or the equation is equal to vp into ip into cos phi so in the we will using as the 1 watt meter at the one phase 
if we use as a three phase power then the it will be the three we have multiply into one watt meter reading okay so it is the summation of the three watt meter so you can define one watt meter in this we can see as a this is the star connection also you can is a simple also will be the same diagram we also will be used and as a delta connection so it will be the same of the delta connection then the next topic will be the 3 watt meter measurement of the power using 3 watt meter so this is the next topic 3 into 1 watt meter reading so you can notation 3 watt meter so again will be the p into vp into ip is equal to cos pi it's using the 1 watt meter reading then if we use as a 3 watt meter then 3 into multiply will be the 1 watt meter reading but you how can define means as a diagram so you can see the this is the our star connection So, we will the first second phase, then this is the pressure coil, this is the current coil, this is the pressure coil, then the you can see the second phase, like we have to the R, Y and the B. Uh, okay so this is the uh, in the using the three watt meter always the students have the, the main problem in the three watt with three watt meter star connection always you have to the this is the our neutral line so please understand this is the means parallel means you cannot define as the current coil and the pressure coil will be the parallel so the uh, always in the gtu always in the question paper answer paper the students will be uh, defined means these types of the circuit so please understand this is the wrong means uh, this is the wrong th method of the using the three watt meter so always you can see the pressure coil will be the connect will be the here of the neutral line of only of the two phase okay so this is the wrong method and this is always students means we have to the problem this this means connection will be with the current coil but in the using the 3 watt meter this is the pressure coil always will be connected of the 3 watt meter will be connected as a in the neutral so you can call as the if we have the, the one coil so it will be the p is equal to vp into ip into cos pi if we have the, the 3 meters so you can define as a 3 1 watt meter reading okay so you can measure as a 3 into vp into ip into cos pi otherwise you can call as a w1 w2 plus w3 total watt power we call as a total power so however it is a sometime we have to the difficult what is the difficult when only we have to this difficult uh, of this circuit will be this pressure coil will be connect as a one point as a neutral so you can see this is the main different or difficulty in this three phase connection of the measure power power measurement in the three watt meter okay so you can as the three watt meter the will be using the two watt meter and it is the very most important topic and always in the circuit or uh, any any application only we use as a two watt meter using the power measurement using the in the two watt meter so as the name suggests like you have to the uh, means uh, 
last theory we have to the one watt meter and the three watt meter so using as a one watt meter in the three watt meter using as a three watt meter in this we have to the two watt meter so we we, we use as a two watt meter but always in the circuit like you can this is the z this is the z okay and also will be the z so always will be the combination of the resistors and the l so means you can as z1 z2 and the z3 so if you have to use the two watt meter one will be the okay this is the current coil and it will be the second so always and this is the third phase this is the r this is the y and this is the b so how you will be connect and will uh, be the power measurement in using the two watt meter so the basic concept of the two watt meter or the main fundamental things in the watt meter always you have to remember that the pressure coil of the in the two watt meter will be always connected in the series so you can so this is the main fundamental of the always the pressure coil will be connected in the series in the using of the two watt meter and uh, using the two watt meter measurement of the power using the two watt meter in the three phase circuit so always this is the supply of the or we can as the vry then always this will be the vby so vry v y n or v b n okay this call as the phase voltage that i call as in the lag structure what is the phase voltage and what is the line voltage same thing here it will be the i r this is the you can you can call as the i y and this as the i b so i r i y and the i b so you can call as the phase current respectively of the phase like v r n means we have to the r phase y and the b so it is called as the phase voltage and i r i y and the i b so in this we have to the last lecture we deliver what is the phase voltage what is the phase current and what is the line voltage and what is the line current so you can understand so in this watt meter we have to the total instantaneous power total instantaneous power so we call as the vrn into ir plus vry into iy plus v vbn or uh, uh, ubv and vyn into iy so this is the total instantaneous instantaneous power in the three phase circuit vrn into ir vbn into iv vyn into iy it is the basic things of the but our main aim you have to define as the watt meter reading how to define means have to the watt meter reading or the basic concept or the fundamental in this theory how to find the watt meter first you have to the connect in the first watt meter also if we call this is the our first watt meter okay so we have to find this is the our first watt meter and this is the our second watt meter okay this is the w1 and this is the w2 okay and you also know about the what is the definition of the power we have to define as a power into power is equal to voltage into current so first the current will be the in the first watt meter it will be the i y and some and the first watt meter reading will be the i e r b e r into b because 
in this uh, circuit we only have to using 2 watt meter so you have to understand so we have to first w1 is equal to i r we, we call as the same thing is equal to the e r b also you can define as the e r b so the i r will be the same what is the v r b using the phasor diagram will be the next topic how will we call as the v r b is equal to v r n minus v b n so then the v, uh, current of the uh, means reading reading at 1 watt meter will be the i r is equal to v r n minus v b into n will be the first equation of the w 1 so it will be the same thing into w 2 ok you can see we have to the connection of the w 2 coil as the y phase so the current will be into the i y so you can see as the current will be into i y so first the current will be as the i y and the voltage is equal to v y into b because b is a, our reference and it will be the same thing in the r y so you can call as the i y is equal to v y n minus v b n ok so we have to the reading of the second ok the reading of the second watt meter ok so this is the reading of the second volt meter so we have to the addition of the w1 and to w2 w means we have to the total power like w1 is equal to into ir is equal to vr n minus v b n plus w2 is equal to i y v y n minus v b n okay